I got lots of banjo projects around here that I want to work on. Um, I'll show you. I got uh, my my good old line and Healy here broke uh, one of the pewter tuning pegs off of it the other day. And I had another banjo that had a postal envelope head on it and the stick wobbled loose on it. And I've, I've re-glued that. I need to put that back on the pot. I've got this uh, old Dynaflow banjo project over here that's about ready to be reassembled but that's gonna need to spend some time out in the garage uh, drilling the holes for the drill press and setting everything up and plus I need a neck for that and uh, you know a while back I made this old cigar box banjo this neck was an old Vega style end neck that had uh, the whole pot and everything got wet and first of all I put it on a brass pan banjo and I liked it a little bit but not a great deal and then I put it on this cigar box and nah, I didn't really like it all that much it's uh, it's not bad it's just not loud enough there's a guy on YouTube that put a banjo neck in an old wine uh, box and it sounded real cool and I you know first time I saw that I thought man I'd like to try that one of these days so I think what I'm gonna do is just pop this neck right off of this cigar box and pop it right onto that wine box to see what it sounds like they're about the same size Everything I need right here, my strings, my tailpiece, bridge, everything, all I have to do is stick that neck in there, get the, the alignment just right, and uh, shoot, we ought to be able to play that thing before the day's over. And I'd love to, I'd, uh, I'd love to just be playing something different this evening while I'm sitting around. So I, I'm, I think I'm going to work on that. Go get them, Zachary. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, here's what we got going here. I, I took this neck off this box. It seems to me I can make this fairly easy on myself by uh, just taking a measurement of where the hole was on here. I should be able to drop down and, and, and make a hole in the exact same spot. And back here on the back, you can see where I notched this several different times to get the uh, tailpiece in the right place. So I should be able to do the same thing on the other side of this. Is just measure down, make a hole in that spot, stick that neck right on there. I'm gonna go up inside here and put a piece of tape over the old uh, handle hole where this was here and I can do that because there's a big hole here where the thing was and then after I get through I can close this up and tape it all up and close the box up so uh, so that's what I'm gonna do I went inside and I taped the handle closed I used some of this clear tape because I thought it would be better than Gorilla Tape because I thought Gorilla Tape would muffle out the uh, vibrations so now I'm gonna cut the hole here mm -hmm. 